<laughs> oh, I see what you mean. It's a bit twitchy. <laughs> I do like it. So, good luck to everybody that entered our competition for the Mini Cooper SD. I'll be honest, I'm going to be sad to see this one go. This has been one of my favourite projects, especially on track. I've driven it multiple times and I think I'd go as far as it's one of the best cars I've drove on track. It might not be the fastest, but it's one of those cars you can just jump in. Well, one, you can jump in, drive it to the track. You can thrash it round. It continuously does exactly what you want it to do. You point it in the corners and it'll go exactly where you want it to go. So I'm pretty sure whoever wins this Mini, you're going to be very, very happy. So 2278 is the last ticket. So we will open random.org. So minimum one. Maximum 2278, and the winner is, drum roll, 275. Pirangelo Ecoli. My Barnsley accent's probably not going to help that name at all, so I'm not sure how to pronounce that, I apologise. But that is our winner. Purchased 15 tickets. So, add a decent uh, chance of winning. We're ringing, we're ringing. Hey, I'm getting! <laughs> <laughs> He's watching live. He's got to be watching live. Fantastic. Congratulations. Cheers, pal. I bet I you... I love that little car. I tried to buy it from last year and you didn't want to sell it me. All right. <laughs> well, you've got it even cheap. You've got it even cheaper now. That's absolutely fantastic. The timing couldn't be better. I've, <laughs> so, I've never won anything. That's absolutely mint. Oh, buzzing. That's uh, that's why we do them. Obviously, it gives everyone the chance. So, um, yeah, I'm really happy that you've uh, you've answered the <laughs> phone to, to start. Why I'm jumping around the office like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine what your face were like when you watched the draw and you were waiting for me to ring you. I was, I could see you, and I'm typing on there, ring me, hurry up. <laughs> Uh, proper buzzing, uh, absolutely buzzing. Absolutely mint. Thanks very much. No problem at all. Thanks for not swearing while we're, we're live as well. I forgot to mention that. Yeah, that's all right. I didn't swear, did I? No, no, you didn't. No, no, you did well. You did well. I think I'd, I think I'd swear if I had a phone call saying I'd oh, won a I car. Oh, I wasn't on the phone. All right. <laughs> you got it all out of the way first. Take it all in. I'll let it all sink in for you. Oh, it's absolutely awesome, that. All right. Right, I'll, uh, in fact, what I'll do when we've come off live video, I'll give you a call back and we can discuss it. All right, pal. All right, mate, have a good one. Cheers, pal. Cheers, Thank mate, you. see you later. Bye-bye, bye. Bye-bye, bye. bye. Very happy chap. Very happy chap. Which you would be if you've just won our mini for what? How many entries? Five. At five. Uh, quick maths, 75 quid. That's it, another competition done. We are planning on doing more of these now, so we've got a new competition page on the website. This was a trial run to make sure everything was working properly. It is. So, like I said, we're going to be doing more competitions. If you've got any suggestions, what you want us to raffle off, not necessarily just cars, it could be dark side products, it could be merchandise, it could be store credit, vouchers, whatever you want to see on there as a competition to win, just comment and we'll see what we can do. So, thank you to everybody that entered. Uh, congratulations to, I'm not even gonna try and say his name again, the chap in Pontefract. Jojo on the chat. Jojo. Jojo. Jo well done, Jojo. That's easier to pronounce. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see you for the next competition in the near future. Right then, it's time to hand over the keys to our Mini. So Joe's just turned up in reception, Adam's just micing him up now. We'll stick a camera in his face and then we'll get his reaction as I pull this round to him. So uh, yeah, let's give away the Mini. That sounds like a diesel Mini. <laughs> Lovely.
Very nice. You reckon? All right, and you get them stickers off. <laughs> yeah. Win this car. That's awesome. it. Lovely. We'll change them to won this car. Yeah, I won this car. <laughs> yeah. You can leave them on. Awesome. So yeah. it's just having a bit of a clean inside and out. It's uh, still got half a tank of diesel in it as well. Wow, so. you never get that. No. I have to remember that diesel. <laughs> yeah, don't no, put petrol I've in it. I've got diesel, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, awesome. I'm glad well, they put a new engine in it. You are? Oh, I'm glad they put a new engine in it. Though. That's it. Brand I've seen new. all the. Um, I've watched all. I'd already watched most of the videos of the Ferrari it's had. Yeah, yeah. And um, like I say, I've seen them giving passenger rides at Croft and stuff, and everybody seemed to enjoy it. Yeah. yeah so I didn't great. have time to wait because there was quite a few people waiting to get in. Yeah, there's normally a line. Yeah. There's normally I'm really a few surprised. people uh, trying to get in. So. It yeah. seems like it, I think it's because of the weather. Just it's not as orange as what it seems in the sunlight. It's a weird colour. Sometimes yeah. it looks a bit yellow. Sometimes it looks a bit. Oh, we call it custard. Yeah, yeah. Custard, custard mini. Uh, uh, it. Lovely. And what's the size tyres on there? They look big, uh, massive. Eighteens, two two five, I think. Oh, the two two five. Uh, yeah, two two five, forty eighteens. So brand new tyres. Yeah, new cracking. Pads. Good tyres, him. Um, yeah, you got padded. Tr uh, Street Plus, I think it said, didn't it? On yes, the, yeah. Is that what's going on there? Yeah, yeah. So they're a bit more suited to like yeah. some road driving as well as, as track. Yes, yeah. Um, yeah, because I see back in the day they had some Paget R RSLs or something in them. And, uh, yeah. They're great on track, but I found them really grabby on the road. Yeah. You couldn't touch the brake, you'd be through the windscreen just, just touching them. Yeah, I had RS29s in before. Yes, that's so, the ones I had in mine. Yeah, like I said, all right for track, track but... Yeah, if, you, if you're going to be driving it on the road, you want some yeah. in between. Same with tyres, we used yeah. to have uh, AO52s on. Yes. Which, again, great track tyres. Yeah. But if it's a bit wet on the road, they'll yeah. be fine on the road. Yeah. But you probably want something that's a little yeah. bit. Little yeah. Bit better, I watched so. some at Round Service and I'm sure they had them on then and it was soaked and it didn't seem too bad, really. No, but... no. We, we run them on the race cars, so you, they've got to be good in the wet because. Well, racing yeah. not just when it's sunny, is it? Yeah. So. My mate Ben's got some of them. We sort of talked him into getting some of them right. for his mini. I say my mate, I just work with him. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a spare wheel in the back. That's all strapped in. Oh, is that? Um, so, nice. yeah, we'll, I'll have a look inside. So, nice. Nagaro bucket seats. Yes. Nice and comfy if you are doing a long drive to track day for track day, away. Yeah. 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 But um, yeah, we yeah. originally built this because we, we were going to do some trips to the Nürburgring and things like that. Um, but Fun. obviously, COVID mm. and things like that. Funny you should say that. Is that what you're doing? Well, just well, I had a, an M2 before this. I just sold it yeah. last week. I sold both both my little cars. Yeah. And it was like, you know, just seeing a diesel to go to Nürburgring. You get both best of both. Yeah, that's it. Obviously, yeah. I do get the mick taken out of me a little bit because it's a diesel. Because <laughs> they, like, they all. You'll, you'll not be saying that when you're going round them on track. Well, I don't know about that, <laughs> but yeah, um, no, it's, I absolutely love it, it's awesome. It's, uh, What's not to like? Yeah, fantastic. So, oh, so it's the same? Yeah, same wheel. That, the spare is still an AO52. Yeah. Not ideal, but obviously... Well, it doesn't matter if it's just a spare, you, innit? If you get a puncture, it's, uh, it's there. <clears throat> yeah. So, flat floor. Can um, you get four wheels in there? Can you get, like, a spare set? Have you ever done that? Uh, I think you'd struggle. You wouldn't need to with your setup, though, would you? You'd put it in the truck. You'd yeah, put them in we, the truck, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. I reckon you'd probably get three. So I think you get two either side and then one in the middle. It's not the end of the world anyway. So is it set up now, track? Uh, in between. Is it? Yeah. The, if you set it up too much for track, we found it kind of pulled you all over the road. It kind of followed the... the yeah, I think I noticed things. when I was up with Croft that they had the string set up, the square set up, and I yeah. was wondering, does he set it up when you drive it to track, set it up, and then drive it round? No, usually we just had it set up for track. Right. Um, Maybe he just wanted something different. Than yeah, it. he just made it a little bit leery on the road, so we've we've uh, we've took some camber off it and, like I said, made it a bit more suitable to, to drive every tow? day. Because you like a bit of tow out? Uh, a little, it's, it's just got a smidge. So not too much. Just to help the Yeah, we didn't want you going into a ditch into on, a on your way home, yeah. <laughs> so Hello? <laughs> you know this car? Yeah. Well at least you'd be able to see it in the bushes. Yeah, that's it, yeah. You wouldn't be able to miss it, would you? Nice and bright. Nice and bright. So, uh... Well we'll take it out then. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh let's go for a spin. 
I've seen the coming out here and I never realised that you, I don't know why I thought you were um, over Manchester for some reason. Right. I think I got you mixed up with somebody else. But I'm only 20 minutes away, ain't I? Yeah, yeah. You're not originally from there though, you've got a bit of a... <laughs> no. Uh, no, I'm from... To your accent. No, a place called Asherton really, I'm from all over the shop. I've lived, I spent 18 years in Ipswich. Right. And I've got some friends down there still now who would know that I'd be thinking about this car now because my catchphrase used to be, if I had one, was, uh, I do like it. Right. <laughs> I used to always say, I do like it. I used to go in the, sh in the shop and buy stuff all the time. I say, I do like it. I always get messages yeah, saying yeah. that. I'm sure they'll be watching the videos. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The lads were taking the mic this morning. They sent me a little picture of, well, I'll show you later. <laughs> I'll show you later what they sent me. Well, they can take me call they want because they haven't got a free yeah, car. Yeah, free so. car. Did you like the M2 then? Just a little I bit first. So no, no. So it was M2 competition, and I just ended up doing things. Put suspension. You guys know what it's like when you start spending money on them. And then yeah, I bought a, a, a really cheap track car, looking for um, Fiesta ST, and I did one in that, and I thought this is it's better than you know. You just you didn't got to worry about it yeah that's the thing we had a Clio 172 and that was the same it's like you trailer it there yeah and you can go that much faster than yeah. everyone else that's having to drive the car yeah. to the track because they need to drive home whereas yeah when you've got like a 2000 pound Clio you're mind. not that bothered if no. he breaks he breaks yeah but you've had a good time uh, you've had a good time while it lasted so yeah and I remember with Croft I was up going along the back way, the big tree is, you go along the, the, the back straight, if you like, and then you turn right, and then there's a fast left and a right, a yeah. draft. I'll do about 110 round the right hand, and the back end come round a bit, and I thought, then it didn't scare me, but I thought, that tyre was just there, yeah, yeah. at this speed. It's funny you should say that, so at Croft, in the Clio, uh, it might be a similar place, so you know the like, the double right hander? Yes. And then there's a bit of a straight, Yes. and then there's a left, and then a right, and then you've got your hairpin back onto the straight. Yes. So after the double right-hander, yeah. the straight along there, yeah. the ABS failed. <laughs> I, luckily, I wasn't driving it. It was one of the other guys that I was sharing oh, it with. Oh, luckily for you. And uh, Yeah, <laughs> Yeah. so he uh, he braked, and the ABS failed, and he ended up going straight on into the tyre barrier. So for the video, we'll put some, uh, some photos in of what that looked like. Yeah. He smashed all the front end together, but luckily with the Clio, I think it cost us about 250 quid to fix it, and that That's... was bonnet, wing, yeah. radiator, um, and a few other little bits and bobs. But... It's daft, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah, so I sold that, them two, it was only last week. That's why I was jumping up and down about the timing. Sold yeah. that. <laughs> the S2's just gone at the weekend, the ST, sorry. So I've literally just got me daily, which is 330D. The good thing about this, you can actually daily it as well. Like Wait. Ryan used to daily it quite a while. So at one point, we we're either driving this or the V10 Touareg. So <laughs> as you can imagine, this this yeah. is a little bit uh, well, better on fuel. It's far more civilized than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not. Late. You said it was quiet, didn't you? Because yeah. I was worried about the noise. But when you obviously put you get some revs on and get some throttle on, yeah, so score way back round and back on yourself. Back. You know? yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, you can feel the turn ins much better than. Uh, Standard steering can be a bit dull. Standard, a bit. certainly on the the wife's new new one. Yeah. <laughs> it's got it's some, there when you need it. The <laughs> torque's awesome, and it? it didn't. You know, power's top speed, but the torque is. Yeah. It's what makes the pull, isn't it? It's good on. It's good, it is good on track. It is. Oh, could have been one of them. Look, oh, why didn't you get one of them? <laughs> Oh, what even is that? Imagine that. It looks like it'll tip over on track. Imagine waking up one Look day. Look how wide wheels oh, are. I've really got to get myself one of them little whatever the hell that is. <laughs> like 5G wheels. Wow. It looks like a Ford badge, doesn't it? Without the Ford bit written. Yeah. It's the oval. Oh, that's impressive, that, like, I must admit. Is that in fourth? That was fourth. Yeah. And I like the, I see the philosophy that they had was just to leave all this 
so you know you had all the mud cons and yeah, that. Yeah, you start stripping them out too much, and yeah. you don't want to use them every day. So no, no, it's like do, I said, it's doable. The plan was to take it to Nurburgring. So if you're driving several hours a yeah. day, you, you want to be able to be quite comfy still. So well, I did mention it to the to the lads, and uh, but it's just planning it. You know, it's quite. I've never been one of the one of the um, me nephew Jake. Didn't really like to talk about him that much, but he's. Um, so <laughs> he's not watching. No, he will be watching. <laughs> and, uh, um, but yeah, he's been before, and uh, so I think actually one of the other lads has been, but it was a while ago. Yeah, I'm going. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. It's a bit twitchy. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's with the yeah. some of the camber taken out. Wow. So even before it, it's the talk steer and it gets you. Wow. Yeah, I'll have to. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, well, front wheel drive as well. I've got rear wheel drive, so you don't get any of that, do you? Yeah. But I see what you mean. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. <laughs> That's it, hilarious. To, uh... to be fair, if, it, if you are driving it more on the road, you might want to get it set up so it is a bit more yes. road friendly. Like I said, yeah. at the minute, it still is. It's still focused for track. <laughs> it's good fun. It good is, fun. yeah. Yeah, it's good fun. It's just fast enough, really, for what yeah, you Yeah, that's it. It's um, 250 horsepower. So yeah. it's not by modern day standards, I suppose, for most hatchbacks. If you're comparing it to like your 140i's and things like that. Yeah, now, but it's, it's, a, uh, it's a torque, though, isn't it? It's the same standard. Was it that way? You can, well, as long as you want. It's yours now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you've got work to do, haven't you? <laughs> Exactly, it gets me out of it. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, the torque, the M2, I think standard is a 410 foot pound. Yeah. So it's quite a lot, really, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Well, diesels are known for that, isn't they? Yeah. It's nice and light, though. Like I said, when when you get it on track, that twitchiness on the road becomes a... becomes an advantage on mm. track because literally you, you you're turning it in and it, it just wants to go around the yeah. corner. Yeah. So just yeah. talking about doing a, a lap. A couple of lads have booked a Cadwell evening, so I think Cadwell will be ideal for it. Yeah. It's really surprising how civilised it is. When you're not pulling it yeah. around, yeah. Yeah, sorry about that, nearly putting us in the trees. <laughs> that was a bit of a shock, that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's hilarious, that. Should have pre-warned you a little bit more. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it to be quite so savage in terms of the way it darts off. If it does start raining, I'd probably be a little bit... Be careful on the straight. I'll be all right. You'll be right. <laughs> <laughs> and so, have you done? Have you done many track days? No, I've done about six. Right. I don't. I don't tend to do the whole day because I do struggle a little bit with um, vertigo. You know, I get dizzy and sick. It makes yeah. me feel crap, which is a bit unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, I'm going to see somebody next week about it. So. Hopefully that'll be a little bit better for me. Yeah. Because I do enjoy it. I only had a few laps in my mate's uh, BX on Sunday and I felt all right after, but then when I got home, I just felt yeah. feel rubbish, get headaches and just... Not what you want. No, but I'm glad I feel better for today because the whole reason I'm not, the whole reason I didn't really want to do it is uh, just because I wanted to be all right for today, you know, because yeah, yeah. it can spoil me. It's a bit like um, it's a track day hangover. That's what it is. Right. <laughs> that's what it feels like. It's you know you feel crap after. Yeah. A, it's just the same. I suppose as with real hangovers, it doesn't stop you drinking next time. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. God, it's an area size. It's got cruise control as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that's the thing. That's one of the reasons. I think you asked on the, the yeah. phone actually why we'd not put a steering wheel on it. Yes. Like a race wheel yeah. and a shifter and things like that. And obviously you'd, you'd lose all the the nice features yeah. that, that you get. I thought I'd seen one, I thought I'd seen a cooler works in a steering wheel and I think it might have been a, it might have been, was it the Bad Boy Mini? I'm not sure where, where I've seen it, but I got Possibly, mixed. yeah, when we did the Motor Addicts video. We did, way, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the petrol versus diesel uh, Mini video. I might leave the dark side bit on. It's been on for a long time, though, hasn't it? It had a new one, actually. Did it? Yeah, yeah, the one that went on it to start to peel. So yeah, that's, that's a nice little touch. That one. That was. Yeah, that's it. That's subtle. That's not so subtle. No. 
<laughs> We've got to advertise the business. Well, that's what it's about, isn't it? That's what it's all about for you guys. We've got some smaller ones if you don't want a massive one up back window. Yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah, yeah we'll I'll probably do that at some point, but yeah. no, that's fantastic. Right. Thank you very much. Yeah, congratulations. Nice anyway, it's, uh, it's good to see it's going to a good home. Yes, it'll be well looked and, uh, after. Yeah. They live in a little garage. You'll have to, uh, if you get any track day photos from yeah. the next track day, you'll have yeah. to send them over and stuff yeah. like that. So. Yeah, we will do. Thanks very much. I look forward to seeing it. Yeah. Spot on. When I open the garage. <laughs> Thank you very much. No worries. So it just goes to show that if you do enter these competitions, you have got a chance of winning. Joe's very happy with the Mini, or he seems very happy with the Mini anyway. So um, yeah, we're going to be doing another car competition very shortly. So we're going to try and get this video out as soon as possible. You didn't know that, Adam, but you do now. And uh, yeah, if you enter the next competition, good luck in that one. See you in the next one. Does that sound right? <laughs>